What's going on guys? This is Mass and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing Erlang Shen in the A to Z. Hopefully we can get a decent little game. Um, yeah, casuals, casuals are still kind of wild, man. So they're a little, they're a little inconsistent. Hopefully we can get something that's not too bad. Do I get to pick this up ever? <laughs> that's a little scuffed, man. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. We'll see what happens. Um, Erling definitely not a great gun at the moment. A while ago, trying to, when did this happen? Like late season nine, right? He got reworked and then the rework made him garbage. And then that hasn't really changed at all. He's he's still pretty much garbage. Um, he did, they attempted to play him a little bit in SPL. As far as I remember, it went really bad. I don't think anybody had a remotely good showing. I could be wrong. So I feel like that kind of confirms it because before, <laughs> before the rework and everything, Erling was absolute top tier in SPL. And they did straight up rework him to try and to try and fix that. He was such a strong god for so long. Mannequins was really good on him. He had way more CC back then because his turtle knocked up. That's not true anymore. He's he's kind of in a weird spot where he doesn't do as much damage. He can be tankier, but it doesn't really matter that he's tankier. Let's see if we get to do this. Please! Barely got it off in time. Thank God, man. It would have been really bad if I actually got stunned under tower there. So a little bit of burst on her there. I'm surprised she didn't get rooted. I was planning to blink and get the root on her. Uh-oh. Not what we like to see. Might get to do a little bit here. I don't know if Stern's got his dash up right now or not. See if I can work my way around, Geb. Wow, I actually just died a tower. Okay. <laughs> that kind of sucks, man. I barely got CC did. I think that was a pretty good attempt at a gank. Tower's just stupid right now and we barely died. Yeah, good old... You gotta love it, man. I'm not gonna do the tower rant. Okay, this is also, this is showing the last tower shot that we took in mid two, but I believe I ate a little over half my health bar from those two shots, and we barely ate the two shots. It's a little excessive, man. But it's fine, we get a one for one out of it, it's not too bad. So we're gonna be going Golden Blade Rush on Erling, as we tend to with just about anybody that auto attacks, even like remotely, it's gonna make a big difference for us. So Golden Blade early on, and then we get a lot of value out of attack speed, so we're probably gonna be going for like Kins, Executioner, stuff like that. I don't think we need to do much of anything. I'll just try and help him win some pressure back in his lane here. Gonna hold our three a little bit so we've got some chase potential here. Should someday get a kill. Yeah, assuming Shiva's got anything anytime soon. Really not? It's too bad. If he actually kept chasing, I feel like we kill there too. Because he should have gotten his one-two combo back up. Baka, what are we doing, man? There we go. There we go. You have TP? Probably does. Is he giggling back there? Almost dead? <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and see if we're gonna do this. Uh? Little invade? Alright, I'm gonna dip on out. So Erlang right now. Yeah, fairly tanky warrior type character. Not a ton of CC. Not a ton of damage. Hi-Rez realistically kind of has to, has to work on him right now. He's been in a bad place for a while. They haven't really bothered to try and fix it. Um, he used to be more damage focused, more like an assassin, and right now he's just not. So, wouldn't really recommend playing him, but we'll still obviously do the A to Z because that's the whole point of the A to Z. Um, so let's start talking about the kit. Erlang passive's really good. Erlang has this dog that when we're hitting minions and when we're hitting gods, the dog will follow along. It does this little delayed attack. Um, and that delayed attack does 5% of your basic attack damage, and then it does 1.75% of their max HP. Not current HP, right? Yeah, because it used to be max, it's still max. Um, which is, I guess we'll just back. I want to do speed buff, Golden Blade's kind of important, let's just go get Golden Blade. Um, big chunk of damage, man. It's it's a lot like having kind of a minikin size chucked on. It's also worth noting that the dog can crit. Now, the dog is going to hit for so little damage, because again, 5% you know, of your basic attack damage. Um... Unless, actually, I guess I don't know for sure how that works. I'm assuming the max health doesn't get added onto the crit. I guess it could. That they could stack these two and then make it crit, maybe? I don't think it does, though. The crits always feel really potato. I don't think there's any... Like, I think it would be really obvious if it did. But, yeah, pretty strong passive. It makes attack speed a lot better on him. Um, he does just inherently gain a big chunk of auto attack damage, and it makes penetration a lot better on him. So items like Executioner... Uh, we don't get a kill here. If I was a little bit closer, I'd try and taunt her into like a Chonga ult combo and see if we just get a burst, but I think it was a little little too far away to try and be forcing that. Chonga's kind of out of mana too. Doesn't have a ton of mana to work with here. Excuse me? 
Nice, we get the little wiggle on her. Get a puller back in. Nice. Good follow up from Changa too. Yeah, so that's pretty perfect right there. We basically need to wait out the beads. We need to bait the invids. We need to wait out the beads. Like we need to do so much stuff right there. Yeah. Golden Blade will do a little bit here. Damn, I was hoping it would do a little more though. That's too bad. Yeah, I held my turtle really hard just trying to bait, assuming that'd be, oh, it's too bad that misses. Assuming that'd be a little better, but he sure did just kind of do the Baka thing and the minion just didn't really die. So, <laughs> I don't I don't know, man. Sure did do the Baka thing. Where is this? Yeah. Yeah, I was really, I was really hoping we got to do like anything at all to those minions and I basically just don't. They actually clean them up right here. Should get a stick to this guy a bit. Set up a free Nox combo. I don't know why Shiva's here, but it works out. Very, very random Shiva rotation, but it's definitely getting some things done right now. So, so yeah, moving on to Erlang one. Erlang one, really bad right now. It doesn't do very much damage. It gives you some life steal as you level it up, but that doesn't matter very much. It doesn't last all that long. Um, one thing it does do that stands out a bit more is it has a stacking damage reduction. Oh, you gotta hit those, man. He didn't even juke it. But it's got stacking damage reduction on it. So that stacking damage reduction, it starts at 5%, stacking up to three times, goes all the way to 7%. So potentially anywhere from 15 to 21% damage reduction on whoever you're hitting lasting. I think it's only three seconds, right? Five seconds. Wait, that's the duration. I don't know how long that lasts. <laughs> I don't know how long that part is. Nice, we actually get it there. Try and peel this a little bit if I can. Well, it's a pretty big peel. I don't think it matters. Oh, it might matter. Come on. Yeah, might have been like exactly enough peel. Nice. Yeah, that's something that can be kind of tricky. Our taunt on our ultimate is pretty delayed and then Baka had a CC immunity for a while there. So I have to wait out to when the CC immunity is about to run out. Um, and then we also got to try and barely reach CERN along with Baka and taunt both of them in the opposite direction so they don't get auto -er. But that is actually something you'll see pretty often when you're trying to make any sort of support style play on the Erlang jungle. Stuff like that, something you should look for pretty often is getting that value out of the taunt like that. So, so yeah, the one does all those things. I think we're basically just good on that, right? The only other thing to keep in mind with the one is um, you get a, uh, a cooldown reset when the one isn't active. When it's on cooldown, every successful auto will reduce the cooldown by one second. Basically just means the ability comes up more often. Really all there is to it. Um, because it's once it's on cooldown, you can't just like one land a bunch of autos and then instantly have the one cooldown like as the one wears out. That's not a thing. So basically it just comes off cooldown a little bit more often if you're hitting a lot of autos. But it doesn't matter a ton because it scales terrible. This is, I think, 5% of our power gets added on and then it's up to 50 bonus damage and it's just physical damage. It's not like true damage or anything. So really, really not that big of a deal. And I definitely wouldn't recommend leveling it like at all. Um, I would definitely recommend leveling it as your like absolute last ability. Maybe the ultimate. I guess maybe 50 damage. Maybe better than the ultimate. I don't know. Because the ultimate, at least at the moment, is really bad to level 2. It adds so little. The CC doesn't go up. The cooldown doesn't go down. It just kind of... You get 50 healing. And <laughs> 50 healing is not much. Especially especially 50 to late healing is not much. I'm going to let him have that because I want to bank. Actually, I think we need more money, right? Yeah, I need 100 more gold. If I had mana, I would absolutely gank there. But I, don't, I have one ability worth of mana. Not a ton. Should be able to clean this guy up, I think. Ah, uh, no. I really wanted to commit to the dive again. If we have mana, it's too bad. I guess she doesn't have her one up. Yeah, if we have mana, I gotta commit way harder there. I can like alter, I can rely on the heal a little bit. I get damage mitigation, a bunch of different stuff. That's okay. All right, so moving on to the two. Erlang two, pretty simple ability. We throw a circle, we can throw it pretty far. It goes pretty quick. This middle circle will root. And then the outer circle does damage. The, the middle circle also does the damage. It's just like, this is what you have to hit for the actual CC. But yeah, decent damage. Doesn't scale great. Scales like 55%, I think. And then it's got like a very awkward, you can see really random timing <laughs> for the root 1.3 seconds. But, but pretty decent root. And it's just a root. So like they can still jump out of it and stuff. A lot of the time you'll want to bait their mobility and then do that. We just smack and bash in Robin. What's up? I'm gonna try and chase his ult here. Should be able to just ult for this. Yeah, as long as we get the two down, we can three on him, and then if he ults, we can just ult him. 
Oh, we could have done that in the reverse order, too. We could have ulted, and then if he ulted out, just the read or whatever. Yeah, we got plenty of CC. He doesn't have beads or anything. We can just stick to him. There's a lot of stuff happening in middle. We'll try and run back over. So yeah, two super simple. Normally want to level the second right after your three. The three has a couple stances. The three is very similar to Wukong three. Morgan? Oh. Uh, stupid Geb getting in the way. I feel like I probably could have like figured out where she was if he wasn't body blocking the three there. I bet we would have caught her at some point. What are we doing, man? You're really greeting for that green buff? He probably gets away. I do get a body block a little bit. Oh, he's so low too. Oh my God. That sucks. Yeah, don't know if green buff was worth it. Ironically, he probably lived from the green buff health, but also like he takes nowhere near that damage if he doesn't pick it up. So, unfortunately, we don't quite get a kill him there. But yeah, similar to Wukong 3, our 3 has a couple of different options where, let's see, is this on Insta? It is. So close range, this first half is turtle. The, the second half is going to be our mink form. The turtle form gives you a shield. You move a little bit slower because you move a little bit slower. You don't get to go quite as far. But you get a shield. You get some knockup immunity slash knockback immunity. It does less damage than the mink, but it will also go through enemies. Um, both forms go through minions, but this will go through gods as well. It won't stop on the first god hit. And then you get to rely on that shield and that like partial CC immunity to keep yourself a little bit safer. The shield lasts after the turtle form a little bit as well. I can try and showcase that real quick. So we get on out of the turtle form, and then we have the shield for quite a while. Yeah, hi, man. Okay. I think we're just chilling here because the ult diff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess there's a Geb rotation. Maybe that's why he forced it, because Geb's right here. I don't know why he's hiding. He went mid for some reason, but he was right here. <laughs> Maybe that's why he forced that. I don't know. Maybe just I gotta do more. Erlang, Erlang's actually fine in a box, especially with Golden Blade. Maybe without Golden Blade, not so much, but with Golden Blade, we're chilling. Okay, if we get the Chonga follow up, we maybe. Oh, she doesn't have ult. Probably don't get to do anything here. Yeah, I don't think we'd commit to that. I don't have mana. Yeah, I definitely couldn't kill there. That's too bad. So, so yeah, the turtle form does all that stuff. Shield lasts forever. Um, based on your prot, the shield will also scale up. But the downside to that is at least in Erlang's current state, there's not really much of a reason to build prot because he doesn't do anything with it. Like, sure, the shield gets stronger, but he doesn't really do damage or have the CC to make it worth building him tanky. And he doesn't have good poke. So right now, Erlang's in this really weird spot where like his damage isn't great as a jungler. He's terrible as any sort of tanky solo laner. His clear is bad. He doesn't do damage. He doesn't really provide value. Literally play like any other warrior in solo lane. So sure, you can scale the shield. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> like they put that as a mechanic and it's not really OK. Little saucy Geb. I'm assuming it was just quick, like, oh, that no, no, that's a little sussy. I don't know about that, man. Is that actually the rare speed hacker? Because he didn't full commit, but that did not. That looked very convenient. That happened two times in a row where I was able to, like, specifically go on him and he gets that little burst of move speed and only a burst of move speed. I don't know, man. Is that the rare person actually trying to get any value out of the stupid speed hack? It might not be. It might have just been convenient. But, uh, yeah, so for the mink form, the mink form, we do a little more damage. It stops on the first god hit. It does travel faster, so we have more potential range out of it. And then once we either run out of range or we collide with somebody, we get bonus attack speed and bonus move speed for, I think, four seconds, right? Yeah, for four seconds. So it's 15% bonus move speed up to 35% bonus attack speed. And then both these abilities do okay damage. The mink definitely does better damage. Um, one thing to keep in mind is because you can hit multiple gods with a turtle, potentially that can be more valuable, and you can also reposition yourself better with the turtle, because you can, like, you can kind of three through somebody. Let me try and get a good example here in a sec. Maybe I don't need an example. Because it'll go through gods, you can kind of, like, 180 on them, where they have to turn around and it makes it a little more awkward to fight. So that can be good, too. But yeah, you can basically potentially get AoE out of that where you can't with the mink. But then it does 235 damage versus the 310 damage of the mink, and the mink scales about twice as hard. So normally in the past, Turtle was way better. Right now, a lot of the time, Turtle doesn't feel all that good. It kind of varies fight to fight. A lot of the time, I actually end up using the Mink form at the moment. So that should do it for that. The final thing to talk about... Oh, and you level the three first, by the way. Um, if that wasn't obvious by us doing it this entire game. The final thing to talk about is the ultimate. The ultimate's a very slow taunt. You have no CC immunity during this taunt. A lot of ults do have some sort of CC immunity. This doesn't. 
She really just walked on out. <laughs> really just got to walk on out, man. Nice, nice a tower. Oh, he's got his two up. We'll see if we get a stick someday. Nice. Try and block the roll? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't block it, but all right. I feel like I did that exactly how I meant to, and it just somehow didn't do anything. Let's see if we can just solo this. Baka's in right lane. I'm assuming the turtle form might be enough. It might not. I don't really do damage to this, do I? God, our turtle shield's so potato, man. Yeah, I can't do it. That's too bad. Figured I'd try. By the way, the dog, I believe, does not hit any of the bosses. Pyro, Gold, Fire Giant, I believe they specifically have it programmed to not do that, because it's uh, it's potentially too strong. All right, they don't have great magic damage. Morgan, a lot of times, probably going to be transforming into a physical, so I think we're going Berserkers and maybe Spectral, right? Cern going crit, Baka starting on his crit. Yeah, we'll probably go Berserkers, Spectral. Getting some defense can be fine on Erlangi, somebody where, because he doesn't really... He just doesn't have great damage that he can commit that well, like building really high damage crit or something like that isn't going to particularly stand out a ton. So as we get late game, we'll actually build a little bit of defense just to be able to survive and actually continue to get our damage off. But part of that's also counter building here. And like Berserkers has attack speed on it, so we still get some bonus DPS. Spectral's just really good at the moment. Yeah, so the ultimate. Um, no sort of CC immune. We get a taunt fairly kind of, maybe, maybe not so quickly. I don't know. Most abilities are going to channel faster, but... Like, there's a decent animation time, but then you taunt. The taunt lasts quite a while. Yeah, hey, you're just dying, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, she's just dying right there. But we get a one and a half second duration taunt, which is fairly strong. We get damage mitigation for this whole duration up and up until the heal. And then we get a heal that's going to be this flat amount plus 12% of our max HP. And I think it lasts four seconds up before you get the heal. So it's not an instant. I forgot that was there, Geb. <laughs> I heard the Geb rolling out, and I was like, oh, I got a Geb rotation coming in. No, I don't. All right, hopefully we get rotations quick enough. Yeah, look at that slow heal being real awkward right now. We also somehow got, like, nothing out of it. Okay, boys. There we go. We eventually get the rotation. Took a little while, man. Yeah, why did it... Do they have any anti-heal? Does Robin have anti-heal on his three for some reason now? I'm really confused. Baka naturally doesn't have any. Makes sense. Geb doesn't have any. I think they must have added anti-heal to Robin, or he just has it and I forgot. Because, yeah, we like baby healed right there. I don't know. That's too bad. And I think it kind of made the difference. I actually probably live there if it healed more. I'm assuming he has like 50% on his three and I just forgot that existed. But yeah, that should basically do it for the kit. So normally as we're getting late game... um. We're looking to turn more and more into sort of a uh, like kind of support style jungler where we're really setting up with a lot of CC for our teammates. We're tanking damage. We're baiting their cooldowns to tank that damage um, and not really bursting that hard because you just you can't. If you build two bursty, what happens is, OK, I Erlang ulted and then I died before the heal went off and just Erlang ult didn't feel that good. And a lot of time late game is while well, they're going to have beads for that taunt. That taunt a lot of the time is a beads burner. And so it's not like you can play it as some sort of big, powerful CC where it's like, oh, especially mages don't get a fight back because they're taunted, their autos do potato damage. Uh, a lot of times you just get murdered. So if you don't build some defense to make yourself tankier in the late game and you don't play for more of that tanky play style, then a lot of time you're going to have a lot of trouble. We do got to make sure that we're uh, at least playing in more of a tanky play style, even if we end up building more damage than I'm going to build this game. Good old Dawn's Rocket going on the worst target. <laughs> Such a classic. There we go. Okay, probably don't get a tank this too long. Nice. Get a little Golden Blade value. Round two? Figured I'd try, man. I figured we'd try a little round two Geb block. Don't get a commit that time, though. Yeah, we kind of need HP. Hopefully we can reset a little bit. An enemy has left the game. Yeah, you mad? Might not be mad. I don't know. Yeah, my good old, uh, my last Erlang attempt was basically a 3v5 of a game where somebody was just unfortunately nice. He's not mad. Good. 
Somebody was unfortunately just not very good. The other person straight up rage quit from dying two times within like 15 minutes. Just the legit, maybe the softest mental I've ever seen in a game. So <laughs> I, I hyper carried really hard, but we were effectively 3v5. Casuals have been a little wild for the A to Z, man. And I'm in this weird spot where some of the gods I think I'll just try and do in ranked if they're good enough, but I really do not want to make myself suffer through Erlang ranked. Erlang is so bad right now. I don't want to just have, like, no fun. <laughs> no fun and just tank my MMR over the A to Z, you know? Which, I mean, it might not. It'll vary. Results may vary. He's such a bad character. Feels so bad to play. He's so easy to counterpick, too. Why are you ulting into me? Just because I'm fragging? Not really a good god to transform into. Oh, that's too bad. I want to catch her here. What the? Why are you here? More CC. <laughs> More C. Oh, yeah, this. No, he's speed hacking. I'm going to report this guy. This guy almost has to be speed hacking. Because he doesn't look laggy either. He just looks extra speedy in incredibly convenient situations. And I'm only seeing it when he's running for his life. That's funny, man. It's been so long. It's probably been over a year since I thought somebody was genuinely speed hacking. Normally, it's just like, uh-oh, and then it kind of seems like they're lagging later on. And so far, it only seems like he's just toggling some shit. It is specifically known as, like, the one hack people ever get away with in Smite. It's because it's not it's not even worth it. <laughs> never it never somehow makes anybody good. They always are gonna get caught before they actually get anywhere with it. Normally if you're sad enough to install it, you're gonna be bad at the game. But it might, you know what? Like it might it might actually be convenient. I don't know for sure. Uh, that's gonna be a waste of relics. Yeah, I was worried about the Baka rotation. Nice. We barely win that. I wasn't even sure if we could, I just couldn't run away. I just had to hope. All right, we'll head back. We're gonna work on our spectral. Spectral should be really good right now. Bach is getting a ton of crit online. Naturally, Cern's getting a ton of crit online as well. So it should make a pretty big difference here. Touch it? What is he saying? Touch what? Actually, touch what? What is, <laughs> what is he referring to? The dog? Maybe. Because who doesn't want to pet a dog, right? Not, not, you know, not touch, like pet the dog, right? Maybe. I don't know. I miss older Langman. He was so broken, but it felt so much more fun to play. I don't even know. I think they got to like really rework him if they don't want to go back to older or older Lang. They got to do quite a bit. Because it did change so much when like his best CC got removed. <laughs> so they had this fairly bursty knockup CC on the turtle and then otherwise the turtle was pretty similar. And it turns out adding an entire knockup to an ability does make quite the difference. Alright, we'll probably chill a little bit. We don't really need to hit FG right now, but I want to see if we can group people up for it. It's pretty early in the game still. I've been a part of so many kills it doesn't feel like it, but we are still just 23 minutes in. Hey bud! Where are we jumping? Damn. I don't get a taunt him anywhere there. I did that that little bit of like remote CC that I could where I get a taunt like rooting doesn't matter there. I can't three because of the cripple. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to show off the zooms here. Let's see. Let's see what we get, man. I think I'm just going to commit to the Geb. Oh, there they go. <laughs> uh oh, actually might be dying here. Every time. It's only running away. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, I potatoed that. That's my bad. I should have been able to kill the Morrigan there. Okay, I got the word to make sure I actually get my back off. All right, let's zoom on back. See if we actually get here in time. Yeah, it's too bad. I don't remember. I don't know if she just like ran away at that very moment. It was a little awkward. But I thought we'd get a little little turtle on her. Okay, dead. Probably just running this way, right? Yeah, nothing sneaky. 
Okay, please actually die. What we doing, Baka? Okay. Uh, probably do Pyro. I, I know we can do... I think we can do Big FG. Pretty sure Baka has ultimate or 4v2. I also don't know what this man... Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this man's doing. That's too bad. If the Nox one hits, he's just straight up dead there. Oh. Uh, we might as well commit at this point. I think we should do Big FG. I guess Ravana could TP in, maybe? Yeah, he could maybe TP in. We're gonna have to try and peel him a little bit here. Nice. Honestly, just ended up being an RNG toss-up, I think. I figured we'd get a Chongol there. I'm not sure why we didn't. Unless I'm tripping and just missed it. Yep, let's get to zoom in, Geb. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh. <laughs> this guy's so getting banned. <laughs> it really has. I really don't remember the last time. At this point, I feel like there's no way he's not, right? At this point. It's way too convenient. And it's happened so many times. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> Turns out, it turns out it doesn't somehow win him games. Oh my goodness, dude. So, so yeah, that's our little look at Erling. Um, a lot of the time we're playing very aggressive, very frontline-y, um, trying to be up in their face, tanky, baiting out their cooldowns, baiting out their mobility, looking to root their jumps and stuff like that once they're down so it's hard for them to get away. Um, and holding on to that taunt, looking for that taunt for a good time. We want to tend to space out our CC pretty well between the two and the ultimate, uh, as well as between other people's CCs and our own, so we can get the beads down, get the mobility down, and then tend to punish them with either the ult or the two, um, and, and basically just stick to them that whole way. Because otherwise, if you're not sticking to people with autos, Erling's really bad, so you got to make sure you're balancing out that CC to be able to do that. Nice, did quite a bit of damage that game. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory Say, say, say my name And I've been trying to wrap my own story In the search for fame I'm sitting here in this empty room Walls keep tumbling down